think this is looking like a craft. So what we need to do now is we need to put this puppy into orbit and see how it goes. So, um, I want to launch escape system. Last time I used the junior system, but honestly, I think this will look better. And this is already a decoupler, don't forget. I can just leave that on there like that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, boom, 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 boom. Put this decoupler with it because we'll stage these two together when the time comes. And I think we need to create an abort. Oh no, let's let's start building. No, let's 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 start building ourselves a booster. So how much mass does this have? This is 4.8 tons, but keep in mind it already has 1,500 meters per second, and a thousand of that is for the ascent. So I don't need a booster that can lift all of that 4.8 tons. So let's get into my list of boosters. Well, let's try, this thing's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Let's try this for now. How much Delta V is in that? It's gonna be that. It's not terrible like all told it's I think I think this might work well I think this might work well can I get the thrust I need out it's a little weak on this end we'll give it a try can I get enough thrust at liftoff oh yeah these two boosters should be good might be a little weak but we'll see how it goes now I want to contain all of this behind this fairing so let's delete the fairing and we shall rebuild this fairing because it's going to come up it's going to come up like this it's going to keep coming up <laughs> a little higher and then it's going to close off around the there it's a thing <laughs> it's a thing I don't know we'll see how this goes we'll give it a test fly we'll see if it can get into orbit okay it's gonna go up completely autonomously so sorry Jebediah you're out you're out the door there's no cargo in there that's good uh, boomity boom what's the thrust on the bottom it needs a little bit more thrust out of these boosters I like a thrust away at launch of 1.33 in the atmosphere it is kind of weak for this middle stage when this comes on what, oh that's a swivel what if I just swap that out for a reliant reliance a more powerful engine reliant Well, that's just in a funny spot yes <laughs> I was about to say that's no way that much more thrust okay so that is there I gotta check this staging over that's a little bit more thrust at the end I do need these to come just a little bit are these full oh more thrust here more fuel more fuel right this is gonna need all the fuel it's got All right. Okay, step one in all this, I want to check, create an abort system, and I want to check that abort system. So we're going to go over to action groups. Again, remember this is for Kerbals, and I want my Kerbals to stay alive. Evidence from last week accepted. So we're going to make an abort sequence. On abort, we're going to fire this off. So toggle that engine. We're going to dis, uh, fire or de deploy the fairing so it can get out of there. And we're going to decouple this decoupler right here that's attached to that pod. All right. So let's put this into simulation mode and see uh, this is just a abort test. 
Oh, I got a typo in my description. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you for pointing that out. Um, I'll, uh, I'll deal with that when this is all done. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Abort! So let's just hit backspace. There we go. And parachutes. And hopefully this will descend safely. Now one thing I don't like about this, in fact I should wait to see what it's like. I do not like the roundy bottom. <laughs> because this will clearly want to fall over when it gets down to the bottom. So let's get down really close to the surface and see if this is, this might be something I might have some trouble dealing with here. Let's see. SAS on. <laughs> if it fell over, oh there it goes, now it's falling over. Is it going to be okay? I think it should, uh, uh, it's like a dumbbell. I could put some sort of flat surface down here on the bottom. That might not be a bad call. Okay, let's end the simulation. I don't like just the roundy bottom. What if... I think I know what I can do. If I never disable this... Me has an idea. Me has an idea. What if I take just a regular boring old decoupler this guy slide that in there play with the textures because that is what I like to do but then on this capsule we disable the staging disable that there is this still all fitting around here okay I think it's alright and then go back to the action groups the abort action group Select that. We don't want to decouple that one. Instead, we want to decouple this one. Let's see what this is like. Again, I bet you there's Kerbals in here, right? No, there isn't. That's surprising. Okay, save. Let's do one more. Let's do another pad abort. All right, again, backspace. There we go. There, there, there. I think this is better. See, now what happened is I never did, I never did decouple this. See that? So now it's got a flat bottom. That should be better. I'm going to go with that. Now it's just the addition of another decoupler. The other thing, oh, I just realized how I can save a little bit more weight too. The other thing that's nice about these roundy ones is that they're completely covered with a blader instead of just ha put, having to put on a heat shield. So you don't put on a heat shield. But they don't need half their ablator when you're just coming in from low orbit. So I'm going to take off half the ablator. That saves a little bit of weight. All right. Uh, I'm going to check our staging. Oh my, uh, this is a bit of a mess here, isn't it? That is that. What's happening here? That is this decoupler. And then all of these engines should go at the same time. Is that right? that decoupler yep and this is when we're ready to descend that separates the capsules and then arm the parachutes and that is going to be for let me think about this no I think I know what I'm gonna do we're gonna disable the staging on this fella as well And I'm going to put this all on an action group so that I put it on action group five so it's far away. This is so when you're doing a normal ascent, at some point you're going to want to lose the escape tower and the fairing and all of this kind of stuff. So I'm going to put all that on an action group. At that point, we're going to deploy the fairing. We're going to activate this escape rocket. And we're going to clearly want to decouple that when we activate it. There. So that will be a normal ascent like that, like that. I think that should be okay. Okay, let's go through our checklist. So, for crude crafts, uh, fine print is 
fine for contracts. I have control. Cabin space has been configured. Oxygen, yes, there's probably. This is oxygen now for the Kerbals. Uh, they have, oh, if I put a couple of Kerbals in there. See, right now they're saying my food is perpetual because I have no Kerbals in there. So in order to give you an idea, I need to put in a couple of Kerbals. With two Kerbals in there, they have five days of food. They absolutely in no way, you know, this is just again a rescue and get them back down. We can save. There should be food in here. Where's my food? Configure the... No, there should be a resource for food. Why is there no resource for food? Maybe I need to be on here? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Okay, let's take out all the food, all that water, all that oxygen. So now they're down to two and a half days. That's fine. Two and a half days of food. Two and a half days of water. They have 117 days of oxygen because of all of these. But remember, this is backup for the fuel cell. That makes me feel better. Okay. Uh, waste, we don't need to deal with. Radiation protection, we don't need to deal with. Science, we don't need to deal with. Power generation, we have dealt with. And then some. Electrical storage is fine. Antenna strength, I don't care about. Antenna speed, I don't care about. Storing data, don't care about. Propulsion's been taken care of. RCS, soon, one day I'll unlock RCS. Have put parachutes on there. Thermal protection, yes, we've dealt with that. Lights, put on tons of lights. Upgrades, let's just take a very quick look at these engines down here. I might change that decoupler up. How many ignitions are on this engine? This ignition has 20 ignitions and almost six minutes of burn time. That will be plenty, especially considering we have backup. The ants have almost six minutes of burn time and 77 ignitions, so that should be fine. I'm gonna change this decoupler to the this decoupler. That's coming off. That looks much better. Oh, I gotta rebuild the fairing now. Making me rebuild the fairing, god dang it. Uh, edit fairing. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think that should be good. Uh, let's put the fairing on clamshell deploy. Six sides and we'll up the force a bit. We should actually test that too. Oh, actually we were, well, it should be fine. Cargo, is there nothing in the cargo? Just make sure. Oh yes, Kerbal's out. <laughs> Get out, Kerbal's. This is going up empty. This whole idea is to do some rescues. Okay, where is my... There, cargo, thrust the weights are all good. Hopefully fairing deploy we did that when we were doing that and the staging is all good Okay, I think I think I think we're ready for a test. I think we're ready for a test One last look at staging Nope that stage should be in with all those rocket engines. Yeah I got a feeling we'll probably... No, no, no. This is all right. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. Okay. Let's do a simulation. This is going to be a practice. Get this thing into orbit before we do it to rescue some Kerbals. And this is just to make sure this thing flies. You think Kerbalism is a bit too much to worry about? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Um, I kind of like it. I, I, I find it has kind of the right level of complexity for me. So let's put it on the pug here. There should be nobody in here. Okay, throttle up. Engines up. Uh, let's put this on here. Um, and we're off. <laughs> I love the way this exhaust is. So we're in simulation mode. So that's why we got all this wireframey stuff happening. I think it looks... I can turn that off, but it does give a nice clear separation between when I'm doing a simulation and when I'm doing an actual mission. A little bit too much to the south, so we got to pull this this way. 
and you can sort of see through it which is nice so if you do something like put on the aerodynamics overlay sometimes I find you can get drag in some of these parts in the middle and I think with the wireframe we should be able to see much much better where these drag lines are coming up okay we're about to lose our boosters stage nice going up a little steeply should be all right. Okay. Big fairing on this thing. <laughs> you know, I could change these winglets to something smaller. That would probably save some mass and give me a little more delta V if I need it. But let's see what this thing has once it's in orbit. Okay, reducing the throttle because we're getting close to a minute to apoapsis. That feels about right there. Again, came up rather steeply, so it's not the most efficient of a sense. But it should be okay. Get rid of this for now. And oh, it just went into orbity mode there. A little bit more thrust. Don't want that don't want that time to apoapsis to start really I like to kind of keep it right around where it is. 53. Oh, it just decreased a bit, so a teeny bit more thrust. There we go. Now I'll try not to play with it anymore. I, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of these like kind of lines that are coming out the back end here. That's kind of cute. Okay, almost at 50 claw. I think that would be a good place for us to do the fairing. So that was five on the action group. Oh, oh, that ain't the most clean. That's because that thing didn't fire. I'm not sure. I'll have to check the check that action group. Make sure there wasn't something kind of messed up with that. But the that escape tower is supposed to go roaring off, roaring off forwards. I kind of do like these kind of roundy capsules um, when you stack them. They, they don't look incredibly terrible. They actually do look like something that might actually be something. Oh, I'm out of... Okay, that was just dumb on my part, my bad, my bad. I forgot that this is finishing off on these engines and not on the... Oh, I can give full thrust now. Was not paying attention. Okay, our apoapsis is at 80 kilometers. I forgot this is... That one's... That stage was designed to run out and it's meant to have these guys finish off the insertion. But to be honest, it finished off... It went much further than I thought it was going to. Okay, so let's see here. Get ourselves close to apoapsis and we'll judge how much time we got left or how much if we, if I have as much fuel as I would like to have left and the, the judge is here let's see we'll get ourselves really close to apoapsis orbital velocities is about 300 meters per second more than this so you can imagine subtracting 300 meters per second from this and it would still have over a thousand meters per second for getting around this is I'm ecstatic that is much better than I thought it was going to be. So I was I was aiming for more like 500 meters per second once it gets into low orbit. So this is going to be great. So we're going to terminate the simulation. We're going to do this. Two grand for the sim. Yes, the sims do cost money. Okay, there was something wrong with the abort action group. That was the only thing that went wrong. Or not the abort action group. Sorry, action group number five. So we decouple that. Oh, I put decouple the launch system. I want to toggle the engine, activate the engine on the launch system. So it just decoupled the launch system. Okay. Now this is set. All right. So again, one last look, make sure no Kerbals snuck on. They have a tendency to do that on me. All right, this time we're doing it. 